Astatine is a radioactive chemical element with the chemical symbol at and atomic number 85. It occurs on Earth only as the result of the radioactive decay of certain heavier elements. All of its isotopes are short-lived. The most stable is Astatine 210, with a half-life of 8.1 hours. Accordingly, much less is known about Astatine than most other elements. The observed properties are consistent with it behaving as a heavier analogue of iodine. Many other properties have been estimated based on this resemblance. Elemental astatine has never been viewed, because a mass large enough to be seen would be immediately vaporized by the heat generated by its own radioactivity. Astatine may be dark, or it may have a metallic appearance and be a semiconductor, or it may even be a metal. It is likely to have a much higher melting point than iodine, on par with those of bismuth and polonium. Chemically, astatine behaves more or less as a halogen, and would be expected to form ionic astatides with alkali or alkaline earth metals. It is known to form covalent compounds with known metals, including other halogens. It does, however, also have a notable cationic chemistry that distinguishes it from the lighter halogens. The second longest lived isotope of astatine, astatine 211, is the only one currently having any commercial application, being employed in medicine to diagnose and treat some diseases via its emission of alpha particles. Only extremely small quantities are used, however, due to its intense radioactivity. The element was first produced by Dale R. Corson, Kenneth Ross McKenzie, and Emilio Segre at the University of California. Berkeley in 1940. They named the element astatine, a name coming from the great instability of the synthesized matter means unstable. Three years later it was found in nature, although it is the least abundant element in the Earth's crust among the non-transuranic elements, with a total existing amount of much less than one gram at any given time. Six astatine isotopes, with mass numbers of 214 to 219 are present in nature as the products of various decay routes of heavier elements, but neither the most stable isotope of astatine nor astatine 211 is produced naturally. Characteristics Astatine is an extremely radioactive element. All its isotopes have half-lives of less than 12 hours, decaying into bismuth, polonium, radon, or other astatine isotopes. Among the first 101 elements in the periodic table, only francium is less stable. The bulk properties of astatine are not known with any great degree of certainty. Research is limited by its short half-life, which prevents the creation of weighable quantities. A visible piece of astatine would be immediately and completely vaporized due to the heat generated by its intense radioactivity. Astatine is usually classified as either a known metal or a metalloid. However, Metal formation for condensed phase astatine has also been suggested. Physical Most of the physical properties of astatine have been estimated, using various theoretically grounded or empirically derived methods. As an example, heavier halogens are darker than a halogens of lesser atomic weight or eurofluorine is nearly colorless, chlorine is bright green, bromine is brown, and iodine is dark gray-violet. Astatine is sometimes described as being a black solid, or as having a metallic appearance. The melting and boiling points of astatine are also expected to follow the trend seen in the halogen series, increasing with atomic number. On this basis, the melting and boiling points are estimated to be 575 and 610 a K, respectively. However, some experimental evidence suggests astatine may have lower melting and boiling points than those implied by the halogen trend. Astatine sublimes less readily than does iodine, having a lower vapor pressure. Even so, half of a given amount of astatine will vaporize in an hour if put on a clean glass surface at room temperature. The crystalline structure of solid astatine is unknown. Evidence for the existence of diatomic astatine is sparse and inconclusive. Some sources state that it too does not exist, or at least has never been observed while other sources assert or imply its existence. Despite this controversy, many properties of diatomic astatine have been predicted. For example, its density would be 6.2 a euro 6.5 grams per centimeter 3. Chemical, 
Many chemical properties of astatine have been determined using tracer studies on extremely dilute astatine solutions. Most known properties are euro such as anion formation are euro or in line with other halogens. However, astatine has a few metallic characteristics as well, such as plating out on a cathode, copper precipitating with metal sulfides in hydrochloric acid, and forming a cation in strong acidic solutions. Astatine has an electronegativity of 2.2 on the revised Pauling scale. This is lower than that of iodine and the same as that of hydrogen. However, in hydrogen astatide the negative charge is predicted to be on the hydrogen atom, implying that this compound should instead be referred to as astatine hydride because the electronegativity of astatine on the alt rocco scale is less than that of hydrogen. Compounds, astatine is the least reactive of the halogens, being less reactive than iodine. However, multiple compounds of astatine have been synthesized in microscopic amounts and studied as intensively as possible before their inevitable radioactive disintegration. The reactions involved are normally tested with dilute solutions of astatine mixed with larger amounts of iodine. The iodine acts as a carrier, ensuring that there is sufficient material for laboratory techniques to work. The formation of an astatine compound with hydrogen a euro usually referred to as hydrogen astated a euro was noted by the pioneers of astatine chemistry. As mentioned earlier, there are grounds for referring to this compound as astatine hydride instead a euro astatine is easily oxidized, acidification by nitric acid gives the it or it plus forms, and the addition of silver, I, then precipitates astatine, only partially as silver, I, astatide. Iodine, in contrast, is not oxidized, and precipitates readily as silver, I, iodide. Only a few metal astatides have been reported, including those of sodium, palladium, silver, and lead. Some characteristic properties of silver astatide, and the known and hypothetical alkali and alkaline earth astatides, have been estimated by extrapolation from other silver or alkali or alkaline earth halides. Astatine is known to react with its lighter homologues iodine, bromine, and chlorine in the vapor state. These reactions produce diatomic interhalogen compounds with formulas at I, at Br, and at Cl. The first two compounds may also be produced in water or euroastatine reacts with iodine iodide solution to form at I, whereas at Br requires an iodine iodine monobromide bromide solution. The excess of iodides or bromides may lead to at Bra, 2 and at Ia, 2 ions, or in a chloride solution, they may produce species like at Cla, 2 or at BrCla via equilibrium balanced reactions with the chlorides. Oxidation of the element with dichromate showed that adding chloride turned the astatine into a molecule likely to be either at Cl or at OCl. Similarly, at Ocla, 2 or at Cla, 2 may be produced. In a plasma ion source mass spectrometer, the similar ions, at I+, at Br+, and, at Cl+, have been formed by introducing lighter halogen vapors into a helium-filled cell containing astatine, supporting the existence of stable neutral molecules in the plasma ion state. No astatine fluorides have been discovered as yet. Their absence has been speculatively attributed to the extreme reactivity of such compounds, including the reaction of an initially formed fluoride with the walls of a glass container to form a non-volatile product. Thus, although the synthesis of an astatine fluoride is thought to be possible, it may require a liquid halogen fluoride solvent, as has already been used for the characterization of radon fluorides. With oxygen, there is evidence for the existence of the species at OA euro, at OA, 2, and at O plus in aqueous solution formed by the reaction of astatine with an oxidant such as elemental bromine or bisodium persulfate in a solution of perchloric acid. The well characterized at OA, 3 anion can be obtained by, for example, the oxidation of astatine with potassium hypochlorite in a solution of potassium hydroxide. Further oxidation, such as by xenon difluoride or periodate, yields the parastatate ion at OA, 4. However, this is only stable in neutral or alkaline solutions. Astatine is also thought to be capable of forming cationic salts with oxyanions such as iodate or dichromate. This is based on the observation that, 
in acidic solutions, monovalent or intermediate positive states of astatine coprecipitate with the insoluble salts of metal cations such as silver, I, iodate or thallium, I, dichromate. Astatine may form bonds to the other chalcogens. These include S7 at plus and at, CSN, A, 2 with sulfur, a coordination selenourea compound with selenium, and an astatine urotellurium colloid with tellurium. Additionally, astatine is known to bind to nitrogen, lead, and boron under the proper conditions. Carbon tetrastatide is known. Astatine can replace a hydrogen atom in benzene to form C6H5 at. This may be oxidized to C6H5 at Cl2 by chlorine. By treating this compound with an alkaline solution of hypochlorite, C6H5 at O2 can be produced. History In 1869, when Dmitry Mendeleev published his periodic table, the space under iodine was empty. After Niels Bohr established the physical basis of the classification of chemical elements, it was suggested that the fifth halogen belong there. Before its officially recognized discovery, it was called a car iodine to imply it was one space under iodine. Scientists tried to find it in nature. Given its rarity, these attempts resulted in a number of false discoveries. The first claimed discovery of a car iodine was made by Fred Allison and his associates at the Alabama Polytechnic Institute in 1931. The discoverers named element 85 alabamine, and assigned it the symbol AB, designations that were used for a few years afterward. In 1934, however, H. G. McPherson of University of California, Berkeley disproved Allison's method and the validity of his discovery. This erroneous discovery was followed by another claim in 1937, by the chemist Rajendralilda. Working in Dhaka in British India, he chose the name Darkine for element 85, which he claimed to have isolated as the thorium series equivalent of radium F in the radium series. The properties he reported for Darkine do not correspond to those of astatine, and the true identity of Darkine is not known. In 1940, the Swiss chemist Walter Minder announced the discovery of element 85 as the beta decay product of radium A, choosing the name Helvetium. However, Berta Kalik and Traud Burnett were unsuccessful in reproducing his experiments, and subsequently attributed Minder's results to contamination of his radon stream. In 1942, Minder, in collaboration with the English scientist Alice Lee Smith, announced the discovery of another isotope of element 85 presumed to be the product of thorium A beta decay. They named the substance Anglo-Helvetium, but Carlick and Burnett were again unable to reproduce these results. In 1940, Dale R. Corson, Kenneth Ross Mackenzie, and Emilio Segre finally isolated the element at the University of California, Berkeley. Instead of searching for the element in nature, the scientists created it by bombarding bismuth-209 with alpha particles in a cyclotron to produce, after emission of two neutrons, astatine-211. The name astatine comes from the Greek word a one-quarter i florin i i plus or minus i i i, due to its propensity for radioactive decay, together with the ending ion, found in the names of the four previously discovered halogens. Three years later, Astatine was found as a product of naturally occurring decay chains by Carlick and Burnett. Since then, astatine has been determined to be in three out of the four natural decay chains. Isotopes There are 32 known isotopes of astatine, with atomic masses of 191 and 193 Euro 223. No stable or even long-lived astatine isotope is known, and no such isotope is expected to exist. Astatine has 23 nuclear isomers, which are nuclei with one or more nucleons in an excited state. A nuclear isomer may also be called a meter state, meaning the system has more internal energy than the ground state, making the former likely to decay into the latter. There may be more than one isomer for each isotope. The most stable of these nuclear isomers is astatine 202 m one which has a half-life of about three minutes, longer than those of all the ground states except for those of isotopes 203 Euro 211 and 220. The least stable one is astatine 214 M1. 
its half-life of 265 nanoseconds is shorter than those of all ground states except that of astatine-213. Astatine's alpha decay energies follow the same trend as for other heavy elements. Lighter astatine isotopes have quite high energies of alpha decay, which become lower as the nuclei become heavier. Astatine 211, however, has a significantly higher energy than the previous isotope, because it has a nucleus with 126 neutrons, and 126 is a magic number corresponding to a filled neutron shell. Despite having a similar half life to the previous isotope, the alpha decay probability is much higher for the latter. 41.81% against only 0.18%. The two following isotopes release even more energy, with astatine 213 releasing the highest amount of energy of all astatine isotopes. For this reason, it is the shortest lived astatine isotope. Even though heavier astatine isotopes release less energy, no long lived astatine isotope exists, due to the increasing role of beta decay. This decay mode is especially important for astatine. As early as 1950 it was postulated that the element has no beta-stable isotopes. Beta decay modes have been found for all astatine isotopes except astatine-213, astatine-214, astatine-215, and astatine-216m. Astatine-210 and lighter isotopes exhibit beta-plus decay, astatine-216 and heavier isotopes exhibit beta decay and astatine-212 decays via both modes, while astatine-211 undergoes electron capture instead. The most stable isotope is astatine-210, which has a half-life of 8.1 hours. This isotope's primary decay mode is beta-plus decay to the relatively long-lived alpha emitter polonium-210. In total, only five isotopes have half-lives exceeding one hour. The least stable ground state isotope is astatine-213, with a half-life of 125 nanoseconds. It alpha decays to the extremely long-lived bismuth-209. Natural occurrence, astatine is the rarest naturally occurring element that is not a transuranic element, with the total amount in Earth's crust estimated to be less than 1 gram at any given time. Any astatine that was present at the Earth's formation has long since decayed and the minute amounts of astatine existing currently have formed through the decay of heavier elements. While it was previously thought to be the rarest element occurring on the Earth, astatine has lost this status to berkelium, atoms of which can be produced by neutron capture reactions and beta decay in very highly concentrated uranium-bearing deposits. Six astatine isotopes occur naturally. Because of their short half-lives, they are found only in trace amounts. There is no data indicating that astatine occurs in stars. Four out of these isotopes are found due to their production in major natural decay chains. Francium-223, the father isotope of astatine-219, alpha decays with a probability of only 0.006%, making this astatine isotope extremely rare even compared to the other astatine isotopes. This is in spite of its half-life being the longest of the natural astatine isotopes. Astatine-219 decays to polonium-215, which itself beta decays to astatine-215 with an even smaller probability of 0.00023%. The entirety of North and South America combined, considered to a depth of 16 kilometers, contain only about 1 trillion astatine-215 atoms at any given time. Astatine 218 is found in nature as a result of polonium 218 beta decay. As with francium 223 and polonium 215, decay to an astatine isotope is not the primary decay mode. However, the astatine 217 isotope has a straight chain leading directly to astatine. Its father isotope decays exclusively to this nuclide. Given that its fathers, grandfathers, and so on each decay exclusively to only one nuclide. This gives only one possible way for the starting nuclide in the Neptunium series to decay a euro via eventual production of astatine 217. The isotopes with mass numbers 214 through 216 are found as the result of triple alpha decay of the naturally present protactinium isotopes protactinium Do 26, protactinium Do 27, and protactinium Do 28. 
However, these isotopes are extremely rare, so much so that they are often not cited as natural astatine isotopes. Synthesis, formation. Astatine was first produced by bombarding bismuth-209 with energetic alpha particles, and this is still the major route used to create the relatively long-lived isotopes astatine-209 through astatine-211. Astatine is only produced in microscopic quantities, with modern techniques allowing production runs of two aterobecquerels. The most important isotope is astatine-211, the only one to currently have a commercial use. To produce the bismuth target, the metal is sputtered onto a gold, copper, or aluminium surface at 50 to 100 mg per square centimeter. The bismuth layer, or alternatively bismuth oxide, is forcibly fused with a copper plate. The target is kept under a chemically neutral nitrogen atmosphere, and is cooled with water to prevent premature astatine vaporization. In a particle accelerator, such as a cyclotron, alpha particles are collided with the bismuth. Even though there is only one bismuth isotope used, the reaction may occur in three possible ways, producing astatine-209, astatine-210, or astatine-211. In order to eliminate undesired nuclides, the maximum energy of the particle accelerator is set to any value above that for the reaction producing astatine-211 and below the one producing astatine-210. Separation Since the element is the main product of the synthesis, after its formation it must only be separated from the target and traces of other radioisotopes. The astatine-containing target is heated to 270 AA degrees Celsius to vaporize away volatile traces of radioisotopes, after which the temperature is raised to 800 AA degrees Celsius. Although 80% of astatine may vaporize at this temperature, bismuth begins to vaporize as well. Astatine's vaporization does not occur at an adequate rate at temperatures below 600 AA degrees Celsius, but at temperatures above 800 AA degrees Celsius, astatine's volatility from a bismuth surface increases significantly. The condensed vapor is collected on a water-cooled platinum surface, which is later moved into a U-like quartz vessel. The quartz container vessel is heated to 130 AA degrees Celsius to remove further traces of impurities and then to 500 AA degrees Celsius to remove astatine, which is collected on a cold finger. The purified element is then washed off the cold finger with a weak nitric acid solution. Using this technique, yields of astatine of up to 30% may be achieved. Uses and Precautions the newly formed astatine 211 is important in nuclear medicine. Once produced, astatine must be used quickly, as it decays with a half life of 7.2 hours. This is, however, long enough to permit multi step labeling strategies. Astatine 211 can be used for targeted alpha particle radiotherapy, since it decays either via emission of an alpha particle or via electron capture. In a manner similar to iodine, Astatine is preferentially concentrated in the thyroid gland, although to a lesser extent. However, it tends to concentrate in the liver in the form of a radiocolloid if it is released into the systemic circulation. The principal medicinal difference between astatine 211 and iodine 131 is that astatine does not emit high energy beta particles, as does iodine 131. Beta particles have considerably greater penetrating power through tissues than do the much heavier alpha particles. While an average energy alpha particle released by decay of astatine 211 can travel up to 70 AA micrometer through the surrounding tissues, an average energy beta particle emitted by iodine 131 can travel nearly 30 times as far, to about 2 ohm. Thus, Using astatine 211 instead of iodine 131 enables the thyroid to be dosed appropriately, while the neighboring parathyroid gland is spared. The short half life and limited penetrating power of it radiation through tissues renders astatine generally preferable to iodine 131 when used in diagnosis as well. Experiments in rats and monkeys, however, suggest that astatine causes much greater damage to the thyroid gland than does iodine 131 with repetitive injection of the nuclide resulting in necrosis and cell dysplasia within the gland. These experiments also suggest that astatine could cause damage to the thyroid of any organism. 
Early research suggested that injection of lethal quantities of astatine caused morphological changes in breast tissue. However, this conclusion currently remains controversial. See also, notes. References. Bibliography, Kugler, H. K. Keller, C. At, Astatine, System No. 8A. GMELIN Handbook of Inorganic and Organometallic Chemistry 8. Springer Verlag. ISBN A3-540-93516-9A, Levokina, A.K. Poznikov, A.A.T.H.T.H. 1 half th degree th 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 micron n th th degree n n th th 1 quarter th n n th micron n th 1 half th micron n th n th n euro th 3 quarters th 1 quarter th micron n th n Th degree N N Th degree N Th Th one half Th degree Th N N Euro Th degree Th one half N Th N Analytical Chemistry of Technetium, Promethium, Astatine, and Francium. Norkia, Zuckerman, J. J. Hagen, A. P. Inorganic Reactions and Methods, The Formation of Bonds to Halogens. John Wiley and Sons. ISBN A 978-0-471-18656-4A, external links, astatine at the periodic table of videos.